Hey everybody, it's uh, Christopher Dixon at Farm, and today I'm making an A-B switch to switch between two audio sources, but I'm also making then another A-B switch to uh, switch between what outputs I want. So input A, input B, then output A, output B, and then out it goes. And I like to build these projects in electrical outlets because they're cheap and they're readily available shielded so that's always a good thing so uh, and as it works out there are five holes here they're not big enough for the eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter uh, sockets so I'm going to enlarge them on my drill press right now and I'm just going to drill these guys out and then we can start the project so let's go for it screwing on the connectors. So the nice thing about using a metal box is that this uh, left, right, and ground, the whole box is already grounded. So you can see here, I don't, I don't really need to solder anything to that third pin. I just have to worry about left and right now. Okay, so now that I've done this, I realize I didn't need that, that last one. I should have really drawn this out because I just need input A, input B, and then output A, output B. That's it. So I don't know why I've got that third one in. So I'm going to take it out. And so all that drilling was pointless. Didn't need to do it. But that's okay. So next thing I'm going to do is the cover plate. I'm going to have three switches. I do know I need three switches. So uh, this is a double pull, double throw. So you can see there's six connectors. So you put what you want in the middle and then where you want it switched into A or B. So in this case, it'll be left and right, left and right, left and right. So that's one switch. It'll go either A or B. The next switch is actually gonna be a mute switch. I'm gonna connect things up in and out and then leave this blank. So that way when you throw the switch into the blank part, it effectively just mutes the signal. So I've got a mute. Because if I'm already going through all this trouble, I might as well hook it up. And then the output is the same thing as before. So uh, output A, output B, and then what's in where I want to switch what to. And that's it. So I'm going to take the one thing out of the box and drill three holes in the plate. I have completed the switches now. I did not do the greatest, straightest job. I will admit it's a lot harder to drill into this than I thought. So uh, it slipped and what can you do? So if this really bothers me in the future, I can just get a new plate, but I'm going to press forward and start soldering. All right, folks, well, the soldering is done. You can see it's uh, not my best work, but it's gonna do. So I will put this together and then I've got an AB switch for input and output. So that means I can listen to either my radio or the computer. I can put it to the speakers or the headphones, and I have a mute switch as well. So, uh, project accomplished. And uh, like I said, I may go back and make another one of these because all I have to do is undo the switches and just put them right back in. Uh, so I might take another crack at it because that cover plate is like a dollar. So maybe it'll bother me, maybe it won't. I mean, I don't know. When all the labels are on, I may not even notice. So I may not make a big deal of it. I did leave the cables a little long, just so that way I've got a little bit of clearance putting them in and out. But here we go. Switch box, and then I'll show it in operation in another video. Uh, I'm just going to end it right here. So from Dixieland Farm, everybody, take care.